Hey guys, the name is Ikrit. Let's talk about Haru Chika, colon, Haruta to Chika. To start off, it's a blend of the music genre and mystery plus romance, if there is any. If that doesn't sound good to you, then it might not be a good show, but if it does, then you might as well give it a try. The first episode is pretty basic. It shows us off the current club members, the teacher Kusakabe, the setting, and our two main characters. The sound of the flute and the other instruments sound sounds nice, especially when Chika attempts to play her flute for the first time. Hmm, I remember when I first tried to play the clarinet, it didn't really make any noise. <laughs> the art is alright, but with the style that they're going for, the characters themselves kind of look like each other to, to a degree. That degree points to Marin, who is supposed to be Chinese-American. Spoilers, he does not look Chinese, nor does he look American. He looks more animated, and the blue hair doesn't really help show us his ethnicity. Although, this would technically be a nitpick on every other slice of life animate when they're trying to show foreign people and they just look exactly the same as Japanese people, because, you know, Japanese people are just anime characters. Then there's Chika, who every time I say her name just reminds me of FNAF for some reason, but let's, 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 let's move away from that. Then there's Chika, who looks different, so that is a plus. Let's totally forget about Haruta at the current moment, because his appearance does not interest me one bit. Look at Chika's eyes. Are those eyebrows on her eyes, or are those actually eyebrows on the lower eyelid? Because it confused the crap out of me every time she appeared in the first episode. And she appeared a lot because she's the freaking main character. And for some weird reason, I'm being reminded of Hajime Ichinose. I, I don't exactly know the connection between those two, but every time I see... Chika, I am just reminded of Hajime. I, I, I don't know why. Personality-wise, Chika is indeed a bronze over brains kind of gal. The complete exact opposite of Haruta. She's very athletic and is a beast in volleyball. But one day, she realizes that this is not how she should be spending her youth playing volleyball 24-7. On a fateful night, she happens to come across a concert with a very close-up of a flute player, and she thought to herself, You know what? That flute sounds really nice. I'm gonna take up flute. Honestly, why did she take up that flute? Because she wanted to be a cute girl. Overall, she's very likable. Haruta, on the other hand, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever he goes on to a banter with Chika, I feel like he doesn't mean it like Chika does. For example, you and a friend are playing a video game and you're calling them names and vice versa. It's not because you guys are mean-spirited, it's just something that friends do. You or them aren't gonna take offense if the word motherfucker or bitch comes out of each other's mouth. Now, let's say on another day, some stranger comes up to you and start calling your friend a dumbass. This person doesn't mean it the same way as said before, so you get upset by this. Haruta is that stranger and not the supposed childhood friend. So I said in the beginning that I said there is plus romance if there is any, and in the first episode, Chika, for no apparent reason at all, has a crush on Kusakabe because why not? He's a music teacher, he's young, she might as well just fall in love with him. 
You'd think that there'd be romance between Haruta and Chika concerning the name, but I hope it's not because Haruta isn't exactly on my nice list. And I feel like the chemistry between them don't really mesh well, mainly because of Haruta. I hope it's not the kind of anime where they kind of fall in love with different people only to find out that they were in love with each other in, a, in the first place. That or I hope that Haruta isn't BSing Chika and, 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 and we find out that oh he's secretly in love with her all along it's just gonna be <laughs> Apparently there's this aspect of Yaoi between Haruta and Kusakabe because not only do we find out in the first episode that Chika has a crush on Kusakabe, we also find out that Haruta has a crush on Kusakabe as well, so now they're having this freaking love triangle for this music teacher, <laughs> and, and Kusakabe, I guess he is just this young and hot music teacher i don't know man i find the freaking music teacher from ebk euphonium to be better looking than than kusakabe it was indeed a pretty funny plot twist and i feel like they're just doing this for comedic purposes right now there isn't a lot of music that is happening in this anime currently there is no set piece that they gotta practice on 24 7 and they don't really have a tournament that they gotta go to right now. Mainly because they're still trying to find more club members. In the episodes where they start recruiting more members, we do get into some things that are thought provoking and might get you sad if you're sensitive to sad stuff. But there just isn't enough time to expand on these subjects. And I hope that they continue these problem onwards to the other episodes instead of it being like, well, your episode is done, so your problem, get on out of here. Overall, I'm not exactly excited for this anime, but I'll continue watching it. As someone said, I'll probably continue watching it until the second season of PBK Euphonium comes out. What do you guys think about this anime? I actually don't have an outro for, for this one, so I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. I keep on mentioning Hibike Euphonium, but for some reason, I just never realized the, the, the similarity between the two main characters of this anime and Hibike Euphonium, where there's two of them and they, re and they like the same person, which is the music teacher, and one of them just happened to either be gay or not. Who knows? It's just like, maybe they're gay, maybe they're not.